welcome back once again to another episode of the Alobo Naga Show. Today we have two amazing singer-songwriters from Nagaland and uh, personally they're all my favorites and today I'm so honored to have Abdon Mech and Timsu Clover. Ladies and gentlemen, hi, welcome. Hi. Thank you. Thank you very much. Nikase. Palace. Okay. So, uh, yeah, thank you so much for taking our time. And I really wanted you guys since last year, but I was keeping it, keeping it the special one, you know. And mm -hmm. here we are today. So, uh, let's go straight. Please, can you tell the audience about yourself, you know, your family, your background, your childhood, your school, <laughs> college, anything that you want to, maybe we start with the lady first. Yeah. Okay. So, um, <coughs> hi everyone, I am Timsa Clover and I am a singer-songwriter from Timapur Nagaland. I recently graduated and now I am officially a full-time musician and I like apple juice. <laughs> okay. Um, hi everyone, my name is Abdon. <coughs> I'm a singer-songwriter as well, um, musician, football buff, if I may <coughs> put that as well. So, um, I did my education in a lot of places around the state. Finished my master's in English. I don't even know why I did that. Now I'm a full-time musician. Um, loving it, enjoying it. Okay, I'm glad that I'm <coughs> sitting with two full-time musicians. <laughs> Thank you. I hope the journey is good so far. Okay, before we go any further, I want to know why Tumsi Clover. Clover is not a Naga surname also. Where did that Clover <laughs> came, you know? I, I get a lot of questions regarding okay. that. Okay. So it's like, I don't really have a formal explanation for it mm -hmm. but it's like when i started using instagram okay. i needed an instagram username okay and okay. so i was like Tumso, okay lumter sounds a little boyish okay. so i was like okay, <laughs> okay let's find a name and so and so that's how clover came and so i've been using that name ever since oh okay okay, okay. so <laughs> you're not like related with any foreign <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay so um yes uh, how long you've been in the music scene now full time like you um, I debuted like back in 2018, I think. 18, 19, yeah, well, I with don't. my first song. Well, making like uh, an official debut with a song, mm -hmm. maybe 20, 2020 mm -hmm. only. 20, right? Yeah, I did one project with the Recurrent, yeah, yeah. 2019. That was That's like right. my first ever kind of song that came out for the public. Mm -hmm. but I, that was kind of like an acoustic session. Mm -hmm. So 20, 20, 2020 is when I first put out my song. Uh, and since then, Oh, it's been a so you guys are like two, three years now in the music scene, right? So mm -hmm. uh, can you share about your journey, the challenges, you know, so far? How's it been so far? Yeah. Um, for me, it's been good. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I'm still waiting for my break mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I'm still working on it. So yeah, for me, I would say it's good, but mm -hmm. not the best. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks for being honest. Yeah. Well, in my case, uh, it's been difficult, of course. Mm -hmm. I think, as is the same for yeah. every Anyone, Naga artist, yeah, right? True, true. Especially if you're an, if you're an independent artist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I think the the hack that I've found mm -hmm. in trying to stay in uh, you know sane is to tell yourself that um, the end goal mm -hmm. is not the end goal. Okay. Like the end goal is about living today and enjoying today yeah. and just believing that something will happen. Mm -hmm. And if you put in enough work, okay. if you're willing to, you know, get dirty mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. put in work, okay. then things will happen eventually in, in its own time. Mm -hmm. But that's at least what I've been uh, doing. Okay, yeah. cool. Mm -hmm. I mean, you talked about independent indie artists and um, <coughs> to be honest, uh, life as an artist is not so easy. Yeah. So, uh, what do you think? Are, like, is there a scope to be a singer songwriter? You know, especially being an independent indie artist. Mm -hmm. What do you say about that? According to you, you know. Um, me and Abdon we had a conversation like two days back, I think, yeah. regarding mm -hmm. this. We have a had a conversation for like one and a half hour, yeah. and <laughs> we were like discussing on about the scene and stuff. And I uh, got a lot of inspiration from Abdon, mm -hmm. like. Um, he is going to be touring all over India, and mm. like that, mo that is motivating me to well, work. That was supposed to be secret, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. now, the now the audience knows. So, so, yeah. That's so, that's okay. Yeah. So it's like that really motivated me, mm -hmm. and for me, I won't say in Nagaland like mm -hmm. we won't say like it's that good. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. 
I think it's been better since mm -hmm. the last few years. Yeah. And I hope and wish it becomes like greater. Mm -hmm. Yes, I mean, that's the positive thing we have to hold on. To. And uh, on the other side, indie music is really catching up, to be honest, in India. Yeah. Right. Especially after the lockdown, you know, people uh, were locked down inside the room and <laughs> everyone was looking for a soothing, like, you know, soulful, something very, you know, uh, not so loud and like dancey music. That's mm -hmm. when I, I also see a lot of indie artists coming up in India. Mm -hmm. And then you guys are also some of the products, you know. And then I'm so happy that now it's not just in Nagaland, but people outside, you know, mm -hmm. we, we're, even India, outside India also, people getting to recognize your talents, your work. So that's really amazing feats that you guys, you know. And then all the best for that. Thank now, you. Uh, coming uh, but, back. If, yeah, if I may interject, yeah. I'm so sorry, but I just yeah, no wanted problem, to no speak something about, uh, I mean, you, you asked regarding the independent scene. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So um, <clears throat> the, the thing is, uh, with the independent scene, mm -hmm. um, if I may speak, she's spoken about Nagalin already. Yeah, yeah. If I may speak from like uh, a national perspective, mm -hmm. Um, one bad thing about the independent thing is that uh, there's no structure. Mm -hmm. Like we don't have an established yeah. structure yet, mm -hmm. and that's not to blame on anyone. It's just the fact that uh, independent scene started quite late mm -hmm. in the country, right? Yeah. So it's we're still catching up, and we have a lot to do. Mm -hmm. uh, especially from this side of the country, Nagas, we actually have a lot to do. Mm -hmm. But on a brighter side, I keep saying this all the time, right? Uh, there has never been a better time to be an independent artist. Honestly. Because yes. you look like 20 years back, mm. and I'm still a baby when it comes to music in front of you, right? Because okay. I'm quite, old, maybe I'm older in age, but when it comes to doing music, I'm still a baby, but I've kind of done my research a bit. Mm -hmm. And if you look back 10, 15 years, it was like, it was not feasible for an independent artist, let alone from, from Nagaland, mm -hmm. but even from maybe major cities in <clears throat> India to kind true, of make true. a career out of it, right? Because you needed to be signed to a label, you needed to have, uh, you know, you, you had no access to networkings and how you brand yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But now with social media, and I keep saying this all the time, and a lot of people have said it already, but it's the truth. Like, with social media, there has never yeah. been a better time to be an independent artist. Now sure. I can sit at home, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. make my own music, Yeah network my own music, mm -hmm. distribute my own music, make calls. I don't need someone else in the record label to come and, you know, put together something for me. Yeah. We can all do it. But well, record labels are not working also. No, in a I, way. Not in a way, yeah. 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 So, yeah. to anyone, right, mm -hmm. don't give up, man. There's never sure. been a better time. I mean, I, I said this before also, we are in the blessed generation, to be honest. Correct. As Correct. a musician, yeah. you know, yeah. if you're smart, there are ample of opportunities, you know. Yeah. Uh, talking about indie artists, you look at look at Nortis, Taba Chake, yeah. Chor Mugli. They're doing good now, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. They are from Nortis, so they are also from Nortis. And now, like, I've shared the stage and they, like, people, the mainland people love their song, come, you know. So, yeah. it's it's uh, motivation for us also. Now. If they can do it, why can't we do it? Correct. Know, and one know? funny thing is, yeah. during Taba's tour, I saw a video and he, Taba sings in uh, their dialect as well, yeah, right? Yes, Nishi. Yes, yes. Yeah. And he, I think he was playing in Bangalore. Mm -hmm. And you can see like mainland Indians singing, singing Nishi, Nishi, song. Nishi songs. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's all out code, right? Yeah, 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 so yeah. If Taba can do it, we all can do it as well. Yeah. That's a very interesting topic to talk to. You know, like uh, most of the artists out here, uh, we usually sing in English, right? Uh, all the singer songwriter, most of I think 80 90 percent. So, I want to encourage also, you know, we should also sing our own dialect. It's very because, from my experience, when I go outside, uh, I sing English, okay, good. I, I sing like a Sumi song, oh, right? Mm -hmm. So, as long as the song is the melody is good, the structure is good, people just love it, you know. Mm -hmm. It's not just about the language or dialect. Also, at the end of the day, mm -hmm. if the hook is good, if the melody is good, people just love, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, example, K-pop music. We don't understand the thing sometimes, but we love it, you know. Yep. Even Japanese or any, any, any in, for instance, any, any, any language. So I want to encourage you guys also. I'm sure you guys are doing, and I heard uh, Abdon song also, but I want to encourage you guys to, you know, keep making our Naga dialect songs also. So when you go mm -hmm. out, let the world know, oh, Taikhan la kotha do ini ka asito, you know? <laughs> yeah, moving ahead, um, the ethics of songwriting culture, you know? Mm -hmm. And the culture of songwriting, uh, songwriters, now it's coming up, we see. Yep. So, uh, where do you think we need change? Where do you think we're going wrong? Where do you think the strength, you know? Let's talk about that at the moment. 
I think no, okay. Okay. Start. now since both of you are into songwriting, <laughs> let's start with ethics. Okay, one okay. Uh-huh. okay. Can you share to the audience about songwriting for people who don't know or how to do it for kids who want to, okay. you know, right. be into it? Yeah. How, well, how uh, it put it? <laughs> See, as in, like everything, mm-hmm. songwriting is not just an art, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's a science behind it, yeah. and it's not rocket science. Mm-hmm. The science mm-hmm. is that you work hard mm-hmm. and it'll happen to you. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people come up to me saying, hey, Abdon, you did your master's in English. Mm-hmm. That's why you can write songs. And I think to a certain degree, mm-hmm. maybe that kind of helped me a little bit. But I didn't learn how to write songs while doing my True. master's, you know. Mm-hmm. So the thing is, the science behind it is how you start is just write, man. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Just write. And you're not going to write the best song in the world at one go. Yeah. It takes time. Mm-hmm. So this is what I remember so many years, Imli Akum, mm-hmm. he told me, he's like, he told me, you write a lot of bad songs mm-hmm. and then you write one good song. And then you go back to writing bad songs and then you get another good song again. Mm-hmm. But the, 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 the idea is to keep writing because the more you write it, the more words you're storing in your vocabulary. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not just your... Uh, you know, literature up mm-hmm. here, your musical vocabulary is also growing with every wow. song, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So when that moment of inspiration comes, since you have enough storage up here, yes. just go cherry pick the words that you want to use from the sentences that you want mm-hmm. and then do it, right? Okay. Mm-hmm. Now that's the science. Okay. And then the art is, it's about if you want to make good art, just be a good person, man. Like, mm-hmm. not good, like be a genuine person. Mm-hmm. And it will definitely reflect in your art as well. Wow, interesting. But you need to have like both. Like, mm-hmm. you, need, you need the work behind it. Mm-hmm. And you need to be a genuine person as well. Okay. Yep. That's what I say to my mm-hmm. friends as well. Like, mm-hmm. when they ask me, can you teach me songwriting? That's right. But that's where I can't. Of okay. course, I can. We can tell them, this is, this is how you do it. You can maybe, like... Um, write about your feelings and stuff but even for us we don't have a definite rule of how to do do it Mm -hmm. and even for me when i started writing i wrote like shitty songs first Mm -hmm. and then based on that i learned to improve and and yeah maybe that's how i even i develop my own style and stuff yeah Yeah. and we develop and uh, how to write better exactly so that's how you do it wow so, so the the lesson that we can take from here is like uh, keep writing, keep writing, mm-hmm. yeah. keep writing, keep writing. Yeah. whether it's shitty or not. Yeah. Yeah. Keep writing, you know. <laughs> wow, interesting. Okay, so now let's uh, talk about. Uh, we saw so many things happening, especially during the lockdown. You know, uh, can you? You know, how did you spend your lockdown? You know, because we saw so many things. So, were you writing a mm-hmm. lot of songs? How many r- songs did you guys write? You, know? <laughs> you want I, to start? Yeah. 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 I I wrote a lot of songs. Okay. Even my song "Dumplings for the Sad." Achha, achha. I wrote that during quarantine time. Ooh. So it's like it has lyrics like um, when all when all of this is over, we can all go out and have street dumplings. Achha, achha, achha. So okay, that's okay, what okay, I wrote okay, in the okay, song. Okay, okay. So yeah, yeah. I've done. <laughs> Uh, my case, it was the opposite, actually. Oh, really? Because I've been writing for so many years, right? Not and sure. like <clears throat> writing every day. And it's mm-hmm. not like writing ev- a song mm-hmm. every day, but just writing something. Mm-hmm. So when the lockdown came, I was like burned out. Mm-hmm. I didn't mm-hmm. want to write anymore because you can only write when you're inspired. So you're like, you need to be inspired by your environment. Yeah, yeah. And you know, being locked inside a room 24 hours, all my imaginative energy mm-hmm. got lost. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's but good thing is I had like a ton of songs already done. So I was like, it's time to start working on my material. Okay, so okay. I went into production, put out some songs. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I just want to tell the audience also, I mean, these guys are amazing songwriters. You can go check them out, check their work. It's <laughs> everywhere. You, you, Thank you. you talk about it. It's everywhere in social media or in the internet. So you can go and check them out. And uh, for those people who don't know, Abdon also wrote, wrote so many songs for me. Even for the upcoming album, he wrote two, three songs. So yeah, he's one of my favorite songwriters, you know. <laughs> I'm just letting the audience know even before my album comes out. <laughs> so uh, yes, now let's talk about uh, your EP, you know, from a bamboo room, right? Yeah. So you released it and uh, what's the plan? What's the next plan? So I mean, uh, basically the, the, the EP, I would like to think I had a lot of uh, dreams and aspirations for it. Mm-hmm. But the most important reason why I made that EP was to kind of teach myself how to do things, right? Okay. And that's mm-hmm. all the essentials of, it's part of the essentials of being an independent artist. Mm-hmm. You, you have to do it yourself, right? Yeah. And up until that time, I literally, I didn't even know how to record stuff. Mm-hmm. I knew mm-hmm. nothing. So 
it was locked down mm. we didn't have anything to do <laughs> all the studios were shut down mm -hmm. and i thought instead of waiting for studios to open i had a very old computer mm -hmm. which my dad bought for me when when i was like class 9 mm -hmm. i asked him to send it over he sent it over and i got a help from got help from few of my friends learned how to you know record songs and basically the idea was to teach myself how to do it right mm -hmm. so my computer kept crashing at night and i can record only during the night time because it's it's <laughs> noisy i don't have a soundproof room like this mm -hmm. so uh it was about teaching myself how to do that mm. and a lot of challenges okay. so aside from recording sure. next step how do you release it how do you distribute it mm -hmm. whom do you reach out to how do you market it right i wanted to learn these things mm -hmm. so even if you know i would like to say that oh i wanted to tour with the album and everything i think a big part of me was about teaching myself how to do it mm -hmm. and i know tours will happen shows will happen in the future but in order for those things to happen i need to get this done today mm. so it was just about teaching myself how to do basically okay. everything yeah so, so you have, have any plans for albums again oh for sure man we have a lot of thoughts <laughs> <songs. laughs> so, <laughs> album yeah. will, it will come for sure okay, okay. Yeah. cool cool mm -hmm. cool well, what about you like you're, you're, you you you've been releasing singles right mm -hmm. your blue was such a hit you know people loved it when it came out mm -hmm. your confessions of a bipolar mind was beautiful then the the song the dumpling song you're talking about <laughs> for the sea so What about you? Are you working on EP or at the moment? Can when can you expect or yeah? Yep, I have an EP coming. Oh, okay. And before that, I'll be releasing a bunch of like few songs. Singles. Yep, achha, singles. Achha. Okay, so, okay. yep, I want the audience to like wait for it. Okay, okay. <laughs> we'll be looking forward to that. Now, one interesting thing I want to always talk. I I shared with I have done before also. Now you guys are like independent indie artists and. Uh, When we look in the market, it's always the popular music, the pop mm -hmm. music that always dominated. People make more money from pop music. That's how the culture was. Mm -hmm. Now, no doubt, things are changing. So, what about you guys? Do you have any plans to shift, or sometimes like okay, juggle between two? Do you have any plans for that? It's like okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's like for me, I listen to all types of genre. Achha, achha. So okay. it's like. I love to experiment with everything. Okay. okay. So it's not that I, I would I won't say I want to go I want to go commercial, gotcha. but it's like I want to do it. Okay. Okay. So yep, I have like a lot of um, dream pop and stuff coming. Ooh, I'm but, looking forward. But that's exactly what she's saying is, I mean, as a musician, because mm. at the end of the day, regardless of whatever genres mm -hmm. or whatever we do, we're all musicians under one, yeah, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, umbrella. As a musician, you have to grow, right? Yeah. Mm. And by growing, it means you know always having being steadfast in your roots, but doesn't mean you don't branch out. You need to mm -hmm. learn how to branch out. And in, exactly. in my case, uh, whatever is out there on the internet, my music, mm -hmm. it's not the music that I play anymore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now I play with with a set of guys who are top notch professionals. Yeah, Shout yeah. out to Teja, Kevin, Agustin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So our music, my music has changed a lot, mm -hmm. and I wouldn't necessarily call it you know pop. Mm -hmm. But in a way where it is definitely changed, okay. and that's not because commercial. I feel like I need to change. Mm -hmm. More commercial. Exactly. Or, I don't know. Okay. But in my case, I genuinely <clears throat> enjoyed writing these songs, and I thought, mm -hmm. you know, I want to do something. I want to do something else. Okay. Awesome. And awesome. yeah, it's not like forcing myself to do something else. Yeah. Like, okay, okay, okay. That's how how we go. No? Yeah. But but that's really good. I'm see. I I appreciate you guys for that because I know some musician. Who are just like my kid? Marry as if you marry boy. You know my kid. Mm -hmm. Ball like you. That is the ultimate music. I have seen it. I'm sure you met some also. There are some who still stuck with, example, 80s music. For them, they listen all kind of music. Any new music genre comes up. That's bullshit. You know. Ki koi thagi lui guns and roses si baat. You know. There are still some people like that. Some people oh metal hello metal. No no. And there are some people like no. In I I know some indie artists also. I met in my you know journey. They want to stick to that. They don't. No, 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 no. Whether you like me or not, I will be here. You know. Mm -hmm. But then I don't. I'm so happy that you. You know. Yes, uh, staying true to the root is so important mm -hmm. because that's your identity at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, again, as an artist, you know, you have to grow, and mm -hmm. that's how we grow. You know. Yeah. And also, not only about growing, it's all about also about smart marketing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because at the end mm -hmm. of the day, you need money. Yep. Yeah. Whether you like it or not, if ultimately you might be the best musician. If you're not making money out of it, you have to look for other means. That's mm -hmm. when we compromise, you know. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're talking so much today. <laughs> no, <laughs> okay. So uh, one tip for 
one tip for like maybe uh, an upcoming like mm -hmm. aspiring so singer songwriter if they want to write a song give one tip each. write yeah if yeah. they want to write so song. just write like okay Th that's my tip write okay on any topic or any yeah theme. write don't mm -hmm. don't wait for inspiration to come to you Achha. write and write again mm -hmm. like i said before when you write you store a lot of words up here. Mm -hmm. You store a lot of musical vocabulary up here. Mm -hmm. And when, because a lot of people, you know, come up to us, I'm sure you get it a lot. Like, mm -hmm. inspiration, mm -hmm. that's because you don't have the words. Like, you don't mm -hmm. have, the, mm -hmm. your storage is empty. Wow. Mm -hmm. And the way you build that storage is by writing. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, muscles, you exercise, you have, mm -hmm. you know. Exactly. So, same wow. with, with something songwriting. No, mm -hmm. when you write, keep writing every day. Write something every day. Need not be a full length song, okay. mm -hmm. but write like three, four lines every day. Mm. You'll get better, I guarantee you. Wow. Mm -hmm. uh, you have anything? Yeah. I have a tip. It's, it's like what I usually do. Mm. It's like when whenever I'll be like working or doing something, okay. a line I want. Yeah. A line. So what I do is I quickly take off my phone and yes. I just write it. Whatever mm. it is. Even if it's not the right words, yeah. I just write. And like, and that's how like uh, when I'm writing a song, I take that reference and then I brainstorm on it and then I write and write and write until I find the right word. Mm. So just like what Eb Ebdon said, Right, just right. Wow, wow. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. Yeah, I hope someone can, you know, make something out of it. And yeah, even me these days, man, whenever I'm working also, any question in my mind, I read it myself. <laughs> I can ask myself. <laughs> okay, with this, we'll take a break and we'll come back with the next segment. Thank you, Don. with Abdon Mitch and Tumsi Clover. We are back with the second segment. Okay guys, so right now we enough of like enough of songwriting, <laughs> enough of serious stuff, we to do some game right now, okay? Mm -hmm. So this is the first time we're playing with our game, I mean with our guest, and then it's a uh, to do something with song and music. So what I'm gonna do is like it's gonna be a competition between both of you. Okay. I'll give you a word, okay? The rules is like you'll be given the word and you have to say 10 seconds, okay? Okay. Then you have to find a song <laughs> with that word. Okay. Cool? Mm -hmm. But then it should be like common song or maybe, yeah, maybe a song. No, no. But if we I don't sing the entire song. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, just one, yeah. one line. Just give us any right. song because, but it should not be your song because it's not gonna happen, okay? It's not gonna happen, okay? So any common song or somebody's song, okay? All right. The first word, okay, ready? Oh, who's, who's going first? No, 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 you're going competition. Gosh. Oh, really? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Ready? <laughs> first word. Move. I like to move it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, one zero. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Dance. Dancing in the moonlight. Dancing in the moonlight. Yeah. Cool. Two zero. Oh yeah. Don't tell yeah. you. Kiss. I kiss the girl. Hey. No, that's technically that's wrong. Cause he said kiss and she said oh, kiss. Okay. Okay. Can you yeah. kiss me more? Okay. We should have done this it. here. Yeah. Okay, they're a little tough. Okay, ready? Yeah. yeah. Paris. Love in Paris. What was that? What was that? Uh, Incha. Incha. Uh, okay. <laughs> Great. At least we have a song from Nagel. Yeah. So, one song three, from Nagel. Three, one, okay? Last. Right. O-H-O. Okay, that's a tough one. O-H-O. Oh, no, no, O-H-O. Okay. Oh. Use the word O. My, oh my. I think I yeah, said yeah. to get them too. Yeah, she's, yeah. She's killing me, man. Four, one, okay? Mm -hmm. Chalo, don't you have to do something? Okay? Yeah. Break. I want to break free. Yeah! <laughs> okay, last one, last one. Okay, last one. All right. Believe. I believe. <laughs> okay. I'm done. How did you think that? Okay, so we're going to play another game. I, um, this is called Sing My Lips, okay? So, what we're gonna do is like, we're gonna put headphones, mm -hmm. turn by turn, you have to help each other guess the song, okay? Right. So we start with the lady, we put the headphone, and he's right. gonna sing one song, and you have to guess the song, okay? Right. Okay, Tumsi can use the headphone at the moment. Okay, <laughs> so, uh, you line so okay. you have to sing that line, okay? Okay, okay. You know the song, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, now, okay, now, <clears throat> now yeah, sing that song for you. Okay. Ready? Oh. I never want to hear you say, I want it that way. 
Can I go again? Yeah. I want it that way. I want it that way. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now now you put uh, you can pass the. When is the action be coiled? All right. Chala, put put the headphone, please. Okay. Okay. Oppa. Uh, this this last line. Okay. This. Line. This is a hard one. Okay. <clears throat> Only know you love her when you let her go. Only I stay, know. I stay. <laughs> Only know you love her when you let it go. Uh. Only know you've been high when you feel it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, great, great. Now, oh, we're, no, we're, we're, we're not done yet. We're not done. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, second round. Okay. okay. The the second one. Okay. okay. Shall go. <clears throat> okay. Go. Uh. Okay. I'll figure out the action with. Okay. Uh, uh, ready? Shalom. Okay. Uh, ye kali kali akhi. Ye gori gori. What was that? I forgot. Oh, Is this a Hindi song? Yes, yes, yes. Ye kali kali akhi. Ye kali kali akhi. <laughs> I've been embracing myself in front of the camera. Oh, once more, once more. You ready? Ye kali kali akhi. <laughs> last. Oh, last. Chala, last. <laughs> I'm embracing myself for you. Come, 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 come. More time. Okay. Slowly. Mm, uh. Nas. Ye ye kali kali akhe. No, you got it. I know you got it. Okay. Yeah. Chala, try, yeah, try. Yeah. yeah. I have like two. Yeah. yeah, yeah one yeah. is akho me teri. Okay. okay. Yeah. And one is. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come uh, on. Come on. Ye kali. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay, okay, no, Chalo. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Okay? Really? Yes. Smart, she's smart, she's smart. It was, it, was, smart. it was worth embarrassing myself. That circle. This one? Yeah. Okay. Okay, Chalo. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's the time to disco. Easy, yeah. it's the time to disco. <laughs> anyway, will you please be okay. Chalo. Chalo. Oh, no, okay, last, yeah, last, last one, okay? Uh. Um, Let's go. Uh, okay. I, I like to move it, move it. You got it. She got it. She got yeah. it. She got it. Yeah. Yeah. I like to move. Yeah. It. <laughs> okay. The so last one. Okay. Last one. Okay. Last one. Okay. Uh, this is from that song and then that last line. Okay. Okay. Cool. Okay. Maybe we found love right where. We Baby, we found love. Keep doing it, Wow, yeah! Congratulations, man. Good, good partnership. Good partnership. Good partnership. Good partnership. Okay, so we we will move on to the next one. Congratulations, pura partido, Karas. Okay, so uh, one question for both of you: favorite songwriter besides you from Nagaland? Oh, the besides you too. Yeah, I wouldn't say favorite, mm -hmm. but right now. Phases like you know, right now for me would be this duo from Kohima called uh, Asu and Wapang. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. They're so good. They they okay, they're, okay. they're underground. I wow, keep telling wow. them you should listen to some awesome, of them. Awesome, awesome, awesome. What about you? I think I was gonna pick them. Really? Yeah. Oh, no, great! Wow, big shout out to them, man. Asu and Wapang. Yeah. Okay. Next one. Uh, name one Naga personality you wouldn't mind going on a date with. Oh. Okay. Let's start with them, sir. Naga personality. Yeah, you wouldn't mind going on a date. Maybe coffee date. Okay. okay, let's go for a date. Okay, <laughs> what about you? I would say Kiviji Momi. I mean, he's a guy. It okay. doesn't mean you can't go on a date. With I know guy. you love yeah. football. <laughs> and because I'm a football guy. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we've seen you gone on a date with other guys also. So, no? <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to imply? <laughs> you know what I mean. Your Instagram stories. <laughs> Don't believe him. <laughs> okay, if I if I have to use this word, whose name you know comes in your mind? Naga Nightingale, you know. Kunla na mai. Toka, Toka. What about you? Don't say Toka. I mean, so pinky kids are the no. Um, I I don't know. I think I'll pick Abdon. Abdon. Oh, oh my name. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He wants to go on a date with Kimi Jiro. Bro, why are you going here? Here. 
It's not a no, no wrong signal. You're trying to steer some controversy. <laughs> no, I mean, we saw your status. Uh, so uh, anyway, wow, uh, okay. Uh, uh, any any plans in like uh, teaching music and you know, music education? Because it's so I mean common with musicians yeah. in Nagaland, right? Mm -hmm. So you have any plans into this field? In, in my case, education? no. I think we're all called to do different things. Mm -hmm. yeah, and I yeah. feel like my calling is not there. Not sure. Maybe. Songwriting, sometimes Song I can do right? a few classes here and there, mm -hmm. but it's not like teaching, teaching, no. Okay, what about you? That's what I would say. Yeah. Oh, sure, and sure. for me, I'm not professionally trained also. Same, yeah. yeah. That's right. Yeah. Chala, we'll do a songwriting, let me organize and I'll call you guys. Yes. Okay? Chala, we'll do that, ne? Okay. Cool. Uh, the most promising upcoming artist, according to you guys, is? Cindy Opong. Okay. Yes. If, if they keep up with the work rate that they're doing right now, because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. these are kids, man. I love them. Like, what, what were you doing when, what, what yeah, were we exactly. doing when we were doing? Yeah, right? true, so, true. Mm -hmm. What about you, yeah. same? Same. Just okay, same. cool. Uh, the best show you played so far? Uh, Room 03. Okay. Can I give a shout out, please? No, just sure. want to give a big shout out to Norhe, Asi, and Gogo. Mm -hmm. These guys mm -hmm. have come up with Room 03. Yeah. During our time, I mean, when we were starting out, we all need venues like right yes, to kind yes, of yes, yes. look up to and you know make a goal that one day I'll play in that venue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In Nagaland, you know, venue Naido. Mm -hmm. Especially in Dimapur. Yeah. So they've come up with this room or three which caters to any artistic experience. Mm -hmm. So it could be music, book, launch, anything, right? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And the room or three has made it possible for a lot of artists like us mm -hmm. to find a space where we can play music. Yes, mm -hmm. so yes, yes. These guys are doing a lot of Yeah. So for those who don't know, Room or Three is in Kuda Village, okay? It's like Maugetla opposite there. Yes, yes. So uh, you can go, you get the best coffee there, you know. Correct. It runs by my friend, so I can proudly <laughs> it. Free of course. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, to see, yeah, with the best show you played so far. No, I just feel like I've done this thing all my life. Oh really? Oh really? <laughs> Twins not even know. Now I'm going to talk with her. Never know, man. It, it's because uh, it was the recent one that I performed, mm -hmm. and it's like every time experience, I get new experience, new experience to Tunpai. So it's like mm -hmm. every gig becomes our favorite. Awesome. So it's like that's the recent one, achha, achha, and also achha. the space and the people that are there. They're very yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's just testament, right, to what good work Romo Three is doing mm -hmm. for artists exactly. like us. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. They must be so happy, man. <laughs> they, they did not pay me to say this, okay? Yeah, yeah, no, no, they'll pay me. <laughs> okay, uh, you guys have like a lot of sh fans and all. Can you share some fan moment, like something embarrassing, some interesting, anything? Anything that you... I, I don't have any. <laughs> I don't have any. <laughs> like all the girls who come in, like, who's your favorite? I don't, I don't know my <laughs> Okay. Any any fan moment like that? Something like you remember? Good, bad, anything? Which Last year, Achha. when I, we were doing a tour in one of the show, shows, was it Nia 2? And this person came up and he made a very... Oh, he? Yeah, very, you know, heartwarming uh, handwritten uh, note for me. Wow. So that felt like... And I think that guy's a music person. Because you could see that it, whatever was written was written from a musical perspective. Wow. Mm -hmm. So that meant a lot. Ooh. Yeah. What about you? Um, I... On one of my shows, mm. I received a like small stuffed toy. Achha. So it was like, I felt very shy to accept that, uh -huh. but it was like kind of cute. Wow. So like, cool. yeah, that was cute. Ooh. So guys, <laughs> if you go to Tumsi Clover's show, make sure you get a lot of soft toys. She That's loves not it. what I mean. That's not what I mean. <laughs> she finds it very sweet. <laughs> Another way to, you no, know, no, no, guys. Okay. okay. Uh, be honest. Three things people don't know about you. Maybe we'll start with girl. Um, I am an ambivert. Okay. Three things. Yeah, three. I am an ambivert and once upon a time I used to love dancing. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, that's new. And it's the type of this new. And one, what's the other one? I don't know. Okay. Yep, just. Oh well, one is I I almost be, became an athlete. Mm -hmm. Wanted to be a football footballer before I wanted yes. to be a musician. Mm -hmm. uh, second is I eat a lot, mm. <laughs> and uh, just thinking of it, I don't man. I'm, I think I'm an open book. Okay. So okay. I think yeah, everything there is about me. I'm pretty open on my everywhere. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, for those who don't know, I mean we we <laughs> we, we share the same you know. Love yeah, for the, we used to play football together, Amolo and no, I. No, no, for, for, no forget no, no, about no. that. And, but and, and, and he plays goalkeeper. <laughs> no, uh, I didn't mean to say that. I'm going to say that we, we love the same club. You know, yes, we, we, we love Chelsea. Chelsea. We're Chelsea Champions fans. Of Europe. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, speaking of dancing, can you imagine her like doing K-pop dance? No. Like, oh 
<laughs> really lovely, right? No, but I, I, think, I think she'll pull it off now that I yeah, think about she can, it. Yeah, she can, she can I mean, I don't, I don't dance See, anymore. See, she said she's open to commercial music, right? Yeah, she Imagine did. her with like <laughs> dancing and dancing. That's, okay, singing. Okay. That's not it. Oh, next one. Uh, give up music. Okay. Mm-hmm. Or... Okay, nothing to do with sex, don't worry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> or, 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 or uh, maybe, okay, fine, you fall in love yeah. in a li- in somewhere in, and the person, your partner said, be with me or give up music. Oh, that's easier. Because at this point of time in my life, mm-hmm. I'm hustling, I'm working hard, I have a dream. Okay. So at least for now, it's music. Not sure. sure. What about you? Yeah, I would pick music. What if it's obviously. true love? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> If it's true love, then he wouldn't stop me from doing music. Yeah, that's the answer I was waiting for. That's the last one. Man. Uh, the last time I, I stalked my crush online. Last time I stalked my crush online. Mm. Uh, I think it was yesterday. Yesterday. My crush is a girl. Oh, girl. I really admire her. Ooh, okay, would you mind mentioning or you don't no. want to? Okay, cool, no problem. <laughs> what about you? Uh, I don't exactly remember, but probably, I think the day before yesterday, I was I was on Instagram, mm-hmm. and uh, uh, there's this new tennis player. She, I forgot her name, sure. from England. Okay. She's making waves. It's it's stuck here. It's not coming out. Anyway. Sure, sure. Okay, yeah. okay. But then, yeah. So, uh, okay. Uh, I'm sure your fans or your admirers they want to know your type of guy or girl. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. So, would you guys like to share your type of? The, the, you know, guy or guy or girl. <laughs> okay. I mean, I, I don't want to sound diplomatic, okay. but just genuinely, be, mm-hmm. genuinely, because uh, what we do takes a lot of our time, no? Mm-hmm. And mental space, takiliwi, mm-hmm. takes a lot of mental space. Yeah, so yes, yes, at yes, this yes. point, someone who understands mm-hmm. and is patient with, mm-hmm. with what I do, I mean, maybe I'm coming from a selfish place, but I think, yeah, for now, someone can understand what we do. Okay. Yeah. Great, great. What about you? Yeah, I kind of like what Don just said. <laughs> Same way, man. <laughs> Are you all the songwriters thing like that? A single song, it's not that again. It's like uh, um, space respect, yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's yeah. it. Mm. Okay, okay. So, are you guys seeing anybody, or you don't? You want to keep it like uh, uh, it's complicated? Like you're complicated. <laughs> you're complicated. <laughs> yes. oh, okay, <laughs> fine. No problem. No problem. So, we're gonna play the last segment. It's very simple. Uh, we play with every guest. Okay. Uh, kill Mary Hooker, very simple. I you okay. you're changing the game to something else. Yeah, nice. I mean, I can change anytime. I'm the best <laughs> so maybe you can start with Abdon, okay? Abdon, I'll give you three names, okay? Kill Mary Hooker, okay? Oh no. Okay, first name, I'll Come give Tim Clover, okay? Second, Yu Lee. And third, Eva Jamir. Oh, uh, I think Eva killed me last time, no? Yeah. You're killing her? I'll kill her. Okay, Eva, no. bye-bye. Uh, I'll marry them sir. Ooh. I'll look up with Yuli. That's it, that's it. Okay, for you, uh, mm-hmm. I'll give you three names. Mm-hmm. One you hang out, one you kiss, okay. one you go on a long ride. Very simple for okay. you, okay? Mm-hmm. Abdon, mm-hmm. Nure Kate, mm-hmm. and Mar Jamir from Polar Lights. So you take uh, hang kiss, hang out? Yeah, maybe on a date, okay? okay. One you kiss, okay. one you go on a long ride. I think I would go on a long ride with Abdon okay. because like, we can have a long conversation together. Yeah, we talk together. a lot. Yeah. Long, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And I would kiss Nore, oh. and then <laughs> every girl would marry then... this guy and kiss this guy, man. Sure. And um, yeah, Mark. Okay, Mark. You wanna hang out with Mark, yeah. right? Oh, nice. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks for being sport. And then I, I pray that there won't be any controversies after this. And then, yeah. <laughs> as hard as you try to yeah. steer on. <laughs> we tried. No, 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 no. I, I, 2022, I'm, I'm, I'm a very changed man. I don't talk about any dirty topics and all, right? Anyway, mm-hmm. thanks for your time. And I wish you all the best. And Thank then you. as I said in the beginning, you guys are, you know, my favorite. And then I, I really want to wish you the best. And uh, in my eyes, to be honest, there are so many artists, but uh, I'm so sorry if people, you know, feel bad me saying this, but uh, you guys are the potentials that I see to go outside. Okay. Thank you so, so much. So I have my 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 you. my you know faith in you guys. So work hard and be smart. That's all. Mm-hmm. I always say that be smart and then sky's the limit. You know. Thank you. And then you guys are going to sing for us today. So before we go, uh, would you like to introduce the song that you will be singing? Maybe we start with Timsi, please. All right. Um, so the song that 
<coughs> excuse me, the song that I'll be singing is titled Other End. And uh, a little brief introduction of the song is like I wrote for my friends, um, college friends. So we had this gang, we, we had even had a group titled um, Broxy Extensioners. And they, they really, they knew that maybe one day you might call me on this show. Mm -hmm. So like they made me say it. Wow. That um, when I go on this show, they will, I, will, I should mention their names. Okay, please tell them. So, yeah, this <laughs> one is for you guys. Lothang, Sinikum Zuk, Manen, Sneezung La, Sanen, Imcha Nila, Ron Ben, and Kevide. Yep, okay. This one's for you. And the song that I'm going to sing is a farewell song, oh. and I wrote it for them. Wow, so. awesome, awesome. When we go for a date, you can bring all of them. You can <laughs> all go as a good date. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm done. Yeah, please, about the song. Uh, well, this, this, the song that I'm playing is called Aria. Aria. And uh, when I wrote it, actually, mm. I wrote it just for the sole purpose of having fun. When you write so many songs, you have the luxury of you know writing. That's it. So mm -hmm. I did that. Mm -hmm. and I thought you gave me all the Michelle songs. <laughs> <laughs> I give you good ones. Both. When the album comes out, I'm just kidding. Out. I'm just kidding. Anyway, uh, after I finished writing the song, I was laughing around. I'm like, this is the cr cringiest song I've ever written. But with time, mm -hmm. I, I kind of became fun to play and I started enjoying it. Wow. So I actually named it Cleopetra. Acha, acha. <laughs> and Kevisa was like, bro, that's, that's not going to work out. My guitarist Kevisa asked me to change it to Aria. So... Why did you give the name of I don't know. It didn't feel right. No, no. <laughs> Yeah. The next one. Yeah, yeah Aria, right? It's wow. Aria, so it's, it's not, forward, it's not yeah. released. It's oh, awesome. Released, yeah. So we're going to get like premiere of new songs, right? Yes. Like, wow. Yeah. Yeah. So guys, you are so blessed. We're going to hear new songs which are not released yet. So uh, thank you so much, everyone, for watching. And don't go. We still have songs. So see you soon. God bless. Bye-bye. Yeah. Hi everyone, I am Timsu Clover and this is my dearest guitarist Teja Chase and together we're gonna sing my song Other End. <laughs> the time I would just ask for a day when you came around can I say grace until my face shines I would just pray for the day when you came around And I don't know where I'm going Sometimes it gets lonely When you leave some place holy And I Today go Can I keep them in my pocket? I'll bring them again when we're close When tears settle down My heart never died in your plans Flowers and wishes standing Ooh
I've heard a lot of stories about you I wonder if what they say is true Oh, about you About you I don't really mind all the chaos That you might bring to the table I'm looking for you I don't understand why you wouldn't let me hold your hand But do you touch your hair to show you don't care Every time someone's coming for you I hear you push away all that I say You hate the thought of something new and all the boys in the past who didn't last To say that you move on fast But can I change your mind, Aria? I gathered all the courage I had The idea was probably bad Was headed for you But you shut me down like an old engine You probably didn't mean to be mean With all that you said All that you said Baby, I don't understand I'm doing everything I can but do you touch your head to show you don't care Every time someone's coming for you I hear you push away all that I say You hate the thought of something new And all the girls in the past who didn't last To say that you move on fast But can I change your mind, Aria?